All right, friends, raise your hand if you can tell me what's it called when I have the ball and I want to give the ball to somebody else on my team. Pass. Okay, thank you for raising your hand. Pass. Passing the ball, okay? So we're going to work on two types of passes today. Okay, when you're working on those passes, uh, you need to make sure you're doing your personal best with it. We've got a couple of videos of some NBA players showing you how to pass the ball. We're going to give you a chance to practice doing the same thing that they're doing. So it's important to watch the important things that they're doing so you know exactly what to do. You're going to practice the same things on there. Make sure you're paying attention. Quarters of the way, so the ball gets to my teammate. If I bounce it too short, 
Now he's got to reach and go get it. What's that give the defense time to do? Get the ball. Time to take it away. Okay. The reason why we want to do a bounce pass is because if there's a defender in front of you and they got their hands out wide and you do a chest pass, what's going to happen? They're going to take it. So you need to do a bounce pass and the ball goes uh, underneath the defense's arms. Everybody understand why you do a bounce pass? Okay, so when I say go, if you're going to find a partner, you and your partner are going to go back to back, take two steps, turn around, face each other. How many basketballs do you need? One. One. So just put the other one up. You work on your bounce pass right now. Any questions on what you're doing? Stop. Music stops. Where do you go? White square. Okay, good.